What's up you guys, boy Eddie Maximilian back again for another video. Today's video, we have a 2025 Kawasaki ZX6R. Uh, this guy's uh, screen name is, uh, or username is Green Goblin. Uh, as you can see, it is a very green bike. So there is no cat, absolutely no cat on this exhaust. He is in dire needs of a tune. He came in for a flash, so we're just gonna take all the restrictions off today and modify his air fuel just a little bit. Let's go over to the Woolwich software so you can see what we are going to be modifying. I already reduced the fan temps to 95 degrees Celsius. Uh, we're gonna disable the front uh, wheel speed sensor so we don't throw a code while we're tuning. Uh, took off the deceleration fuel cut, disable the top speed limiter, disable the exhaust valve servo motor uh, fall code because I'm gonna re be removing that servo motor and I'm gonna disable the stock O2 sensor because I will be modifying the O2. And here is the servo uh, motor. This can come out. Uh, this is what controls the flap inside the stock exhaust. So that's gonna be removed. We no longer have a flap, clearly. Big, big, big restrictions on the 25s, just like the 24s. All right, I'm just gonna go to fifth gear, which is the power gear. Okay, so we look at the map. This top row here from 0% to 94, this is how much you are pulling your throttle. Okay, and then all these numbers are the percentage of throttle that the um, throttle valves are opening. So if I show you on the bike, all right, just to this, this is zero throttle, full throttle. Okay, according to the map, right now, the way it's set is at 12,000 RPM. When you're going full throttle, you're only getting 68%. And at 14,000, you're only getting 38%. I'm gonna take apart uh, the rear of the bike so we can access the RPM uh, pickup wire so we get the proper torque. With the proper torque, we get the proper horsepower. What's up you guys we're back this is day two um i had to stop because it got a little too loud in here and my neighbor started complaining so we've done all the revisions um i'm gonna do something a little different this time with the with uh, the chart so i can show it a little clearer for everybody that's confused about numbers uh we're gonna run it one more time or two more times you see some pops and flames you see the final tune and you'll see that uh i'm gonna show the wheel horsepower and the crank horsepower and the difference between our lowest and highest runs. We're gonna be doing fifth gear pulls the whole time.
All right, guys. So I'm gonna put it on the screen so you guys can see, and I'm gonna explain what you're looking at. All right, so this is our chart. This is the old AFR, this is the new AFR, straight ruler, mid to top end. This is because of the, the pair valve. Once we do the black off plates, this will be a straight line. Uh, torque, we gained about one and a half on torque. And horsepower, we're about eight. About eight horsepower difference. So our crank, our wheel is 115. We ended up at 115. And that's SAE, guys. SAE is corrected. So it's, it's lower than STD numbers. SAE is corrected for... Uh, the temperature in here, the humidity, the air pressure, uh, sea level, all that stuff. Okay, and the crank, crank numbers, we got 120, and we ended up with 128 crank. Okay, so if you do the math, uh, how do you get crank? You would take your crank horsepower and subtract 10%. So 128 minus 10%, you get 115. So that bike, that means that this bike is dialed in uh, right where it should be uh, we would be able to get a little bit higher uh, wheel if we change the stock air filter the stock air filter in here and if we were to say clean this chain up a bit uh, the sprocket looks a bit dirty we'll be able to release about a horse a horse and a half on there and also these headers are I believe I believe these are Chinese headers guys Chinese headers to a uh, M4 slip-on is what these are. So, to give you an idea, there go the headers. You know it's Chinese when there's no rubber protector on the spring. Even the Chinese headers produce power, so that concludes the end of this video. Again, a 2025 ZX6R will crank at 128 horsepower. I'll see you guys in the next video.